Hi guys. Mmm, coffee. It's the best way. I'm here with a smaller Dollar Tree haul than what I usually do. Um, didn't find too many things this week. I've been kind of busy, um, trying really hard, and I'm sorry about the lighting. Um, it's dark outside right now when I'm filming this, so. And if I turn on my kitchen light back here, it's way too bright and just blocks everything else out. So, I do apologize, and let's just get this started. All right, first we'll start with Christmas. Um, I only have two items in the Christmas, so first one oh, is some more of tissue paper that I almost dropped out of the sleeve, so sorry. It is a 14 count. Again, not a great deal, but I bought it because it has the red trucks. And it has that like that craft paper look to it. And I like that. And then the red and the plaid and then a green. Um I just I feel like the tissue paper, if I have to use bags, the tissue paper makes it just a little more festive. I guess is what I wanted to say. So, but I did buy another thing that is just 14. Um, and these were selling quick. Like, there was hardly any left, and they had just put them out. So, if you find them, snatch them. And then, the other Christmas item is from Voila. <laughs> and it is this Christmas bag. got like the little Volkswagen van. It says Merry Christmas in silver. It has these pretty lights and snowflakes. Um, the back looks the same, just without the metallic here. And the side, just continuation. It has some hollies and some snowflakes and little swirlies. I actually got this with my daughter in mind. She is really into these. Really into these. So I figured if I have a gift that I need to bag, this one's perfect for her. And the gift tag is just a little holly. So that is it for Christmas. Next we'll do food. Just a few items. First I bought a oh four cup four count, I guess, of uh, the Donut Shop Blend, I'm sorry about the glare, um, K-Cups. It is a medium roast. I liked the French ones I bought a while back, so I thought I'd give these a try. So it's just a four pack of these. And then I bought this Copper Moon Coffee French Roast. It's a dark roast. I really enjoy dark roast coffee. Um, it says premium blend, bold and smoky. And it is a four cup as well. So, I'm interested to see what that was going to taste like. Because like I said, I really, in, I really, really, really enjoy a good dark roast coffee. Okay, next. I found a bag of these. Lifesavers Hard Candy, but it is the Butter Run. These are my favorite. Um, I've never seen them in a bag with just the Butter Run. Every year for Christmas, I used to have um, my parents used to get me one of those little books, cardboard books that had the Lifesaver tube things in them. And this was always one of them. And it was always my favorite. I found these. It was in the Christmas section, the Christmas candy. So I bought these for me. Something to take to work with me. Um, if you haven't tried a Butter Rum Lifesaver, please try these. These are fantastic. And it takes me straight back to childhood. <clears throat> Next, I bought Instant Coffee Medium Roast. I bought it for my daughter. She makes that whipped coffee and she says that this is great for that so I just keep buying it for her when she wants it and it says makes 32 cups um, made in Mexico and 
I don't see an expiration date. I'm sure there is one, but it won't last. It's a 2.82 ounce jar. <clears throat> Makes 32 six fluid ounce cups. Says it right there. Oh, there we go. Okay. And then they had Chex Mix. This one is um, sweet and salty. It's the honey, it's the honey nut. Um, and it is expiration June 15th, 2021. It is a 8.75 ounce bag. Um, they had other ones, they had the original, they had the bold, um, they had a spicy one, but my kids like the honey nut. So I just grabbed one bag of those and they had a lot of those, a lot. All right, next we're gonna go into kind of what I have most of and it's the home section. Um, but first off, I just wanna say, I picked up a book it is just five ingredients, cakes and desserts. Now, I will tell you that most of this stuff does take more than five ingredients. Um, mm -hmm, let me see. Well, I'll show you the one my daughter has picked out. She's already went through it. It says, um, like the, the main ingredients you need is called chocolate caramel shortbread. And the main ingredients you need is... Um, Seven tablespoons of butter, one 14 ounce can of condensed milk, three and a half ounce white chocolate broken into pieces, and three and a half ounce semi sweet chocolate broken into pieces. But then underneath of it, it says, I don't know if you can see it, this is pantry. And it's giving you things that you should already have in your pantry if you're baking, um, like super fine sugar, brown rice flour which i will never have that in here so i'll have to buy that when she makes it but look at this picture look how good that looks oh it is so good mm. yes i plan on making several of these and i've got categories like this one's chocolate this one's fruity and I, have, I seen one, Mini Bites. And I seen one that said, um, family, here it is. Come back here. Family favorites. So, I thought, it'd be nice. You know, my daughter's starting to bake, and I like to bake. It'd be nice to keep on hand. And it says it sold in the U.S. originally for $7.99. So, I'm excited to start baking some stuff there. Next, my daughter found another one of these little planners. She found the raccoon named Roscoe. She's already opening um, to check to make sure he wasn't broken. But look how cute he is. Look. He's just real little. And if you haven't seen my channel before, my daughter is collecting the whole collection. Um, she loves succulents. She has a lot of succulents. I can't figure out what's going on there. I'm trying a new um, recording app and something's happening here. So I'm sorry if this is a little wonky. But, I mean, look at him. Look, He's so cute. He's so cute. And she has a ton of little succulent plants. Um, but, it is a four-piece set. It comes, you get, you know, the little Norwal well. The little sloth, the dinosaur, and the raccoon. So the only one she's missing is the sloth. So we will continue our hunt for those, but this is a good buy for her. Next, I bought it is they're calling it a silicone silicone pot holder. It's seven inch by seven inch and it is made by the home collection. It's gray, and it's just a silicone pot holder. Um, I'm not going to use it for a pot holder. I have some thicker silicone ones that I've got from, I think, Walmart. I'm not sure about that, but 
Uh, my daughter wanted this one to lay her straightener on. She doesn't straighten her hair all the time, but when she does, she's in her room on her vanity. So she wants to put this there so it, she doesn't take a chance of it burning her vanity or anything, which is fine. So she just picked out a gray one. And this is, it's thin, it's flimsy, it's perfect for that. Next, I bought three more of the two packs of the non-slip hangers by Essential. It has this gorgeous kind of rose gold color with the gray. Um, it is a two pack, so it's not a super good buy, but I bought some, I think I bought five packs of them a while back to redo my closet, my clothes in my closet, and I really liked them. Um, so I just bought three more, so that's six, um, as backup. And, you know, it's super velvety soft. And it says it's a swivel head, so the heads do turn. Um, yeah, swivel head. So, so there's that. Guys, I'm sorry I'm drinking coffee, but it's been a day. That's needed. All right, next. I bought this pet food scoop. It is made by Greenbrier. It is a two-cup scoop. It is a navy blue, which is my theme in my kitchen. It's navy blue and gray, so it's perfect. And I keep my dog and cat food over here in like a two-tray rolly tote. It only came with one scoop, so um, I'm using that for the cat food. So I decided to use this one for our dogs. Great buy. You can find these at Walmart for like 3 or $4, some more. And they're pretty much all two scoops anymore. So, um... I want to say they had it in red as well. So, there's that. Next, I bought um, some floral foam. It is a four piece. I found it in the, um, where all the flowers were. Um, I got this because a while back I hauled some, can't think of the correct name for them but anyway um they're little flowers and I went to put them in the vase I had in mind and it was just the whole of it was too big it was bigger than I thought was remembered so this way they don't fall over and look all limp and stuff so this is a good buy because this stuff is pretty expensive everywhere else and this is a four piece I don't know what I'm going to do with the other ones but I'll figure something else out all right next I bought two of these baskets and they are by essential I did buy two of them they are white and black around the rim they have the little handles um, <laughs> it doesn't give me a size but they're pretty it gets a pretty good size so I bought two of those um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna use them for yet but I'm sure I'll find some sort of organization for them and they had them and the black with the white trim. I prefer the black with the white trim. I think it looks classier, I guess is the word I want to use. Um, and again, it is they're the same size. And I've seen people haul these before, but mine hadn't had them. So I've seen they had them. I just went ahead and grabbed them and figured I'll figure something to use those for. All right. Next, I bought... One more of the Harvest and Hayride three ounce candle by Luminescence. It is a three ounce. This jar is darling. It kind of looks like a little mason jar. It says mason on it. I don't know if you can see it very well. And it smells mm, like a apple cinnamon type smell is how I'm going to describe it. And it does smell fantastic. So I just bought one more of these. Because I know they're getting ready to switch them all out to the Christmas ones. So I just went ahead and grabbed this one. So I had it. And then I purchased two of these baskets. These are good quality baskets, you guys. Um, and it is by Essential. Like they're... I mean, look at that. That's a good size basket. It's like a bogan. Anyway... 
Um, and I bought these to go underneath my sink in the bathroom. They are, I keep my extra lotions and, and body washes and backup stuff there. So I just went ahead and grabbed these to kind of make it look a little more organized. And I actually might use those other ones for that as well. Um, cause I do tend to have a lot on backup. So last thing I bought in the home department was just a plain Jane white laundry basket. They have these all the time. Um, I bought it for my daughter. Hers broke. No, nothing exciting there. All right, next we'll go to health and beauty and I just have two items and then that's it for this haul guys I told you it was a small haul mm. That is some great coffee and if anybody's curious It is Maple pecan Starbucks With pumpkin spice creamer It's so good Anyway back to this I got sidetracked Um, I got some placards It is a 60 count. I got them for my daughter. She actually, they had a smaller bag there. I, I want to say like it was a 32 count or something. And she was like, why would I get that one when I can get the 60 count for a buck as well? Pretty proud moment. <laughs> but, and they were the same exact brand. They were the placards. They were the green. I mean, it was just a smaller size. So I just bought those for her. And then last, I found... A flower product and I've been looking for this because everybody's been hauling these and my store hadn't had them um, it is the velvet Vel bleh, velvet lip chubby and it is a matte vel velvet finish and the color is coral floral this is what it looks like and it took me a minute to realize that this was a flower product because it kind of looks plain Jane but it says right here oh, there it says right there flower so, just in case y'all are wondering, and if y'all didn't know, it is, these are a product of um, Drew Barrymore. So, and it says, orchid and papaya hydrate and help smooth lips. So, let's see what this bad boy looks like. Let's test it. Blake, don't get the dog route up. Sorry. Yes. All right. smooth um I'm not really sure how to describe this color though like the stick itself looks like it looks red but it's really kind of like a orangey tone to it doesn't it it's not bad it kind of clashes with my outfit today which I love this cardigan love it I got this at Walmart, guys. I was so excited. Anyway. But I would definitely buy this if I seen it, like, in a different store. I would buy this. I'm. It's very smooth. I like it. So, I give it a 10. All right, guys. And that is it for this haul. Um, my next haul will be a little bigger. Um... I already have some stuff for it. I've been buying stuff here and there. It's for party supplies for my mother-in-law, but I'll get into that in my next video. Um, so thanks for stopping by. If you like this kind of stuff, go ahead and hit that subscribe button there. It's down below. And hit that notification if you want to get it notified every time I post, which is usually once a week. And, sorry, that was... Hey, the dog decided to open the closet back there. I'm sorry. Um, and hit that like button. It really helps me out, guys. And I appreciate all the love and support y'all are giving me. Um, so until next time, have a great day.